Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Unreal Engine 5.5 is finally here in its preview version and it comes back with amazing new updates and features. Here in the public roadmap you can find all the new things and one of them is this audio driven animation for MetaHuman Animator which we will be testing in this video. So to start I'm going into Epic Games Launcher then library here I have it installed in my list and if you don't have it yet just go ahead and press this plus icon then select it from the drop down menu now we need to go into marketplace and search for metahuman plugin and even if you have it before you need to install it again to work with 5.5 just click install to engine, then select it from the list and hit install. When you finish, you can check it here under installed plugins. Just hit close and let's open Unreal Engine. Here I'm going to choose one of my projects. Here it's telling you about the new installed plugin, just go manage plugins. Or you can go into edit, then plugins to access the same menu, then go metahuman, just click here to activate it. And here is telling you that it's experimental, just hit yes to confirm, then click restart. After restarting, go into plugins, metahuman and confirm it's checked. So here we need to prepare a few things before we can use this plugin. First, let's open Quicksail Bridge to import our MetaHuman character. I found that my old MetaHuman characters can't be used with 5.5, even if they are compatible with 5.4. So for now, I'm going to use one of these presets. And for some reason, the character previews are not showing. I think it's a small bug, but it's okay. We can distinguish between them using their names since they are the same. And here I have already downloaded and imported one of them. Now the second and the last thing that we need right now is an audio file, which I'm going to import right now. Then I'm going to create new folder, call it MetaHuman. Then I'm going to right click, I'm going into MetaHuman Animator, then MetaHuman Performance. Open it. Alright, here we are inside MetaHuman Performance. It looks the same, but if you go to the right side here, under Input Type, we have Audio Now, which we can select. Then we can select our audio file that we have just imported. Then here into Mesh, I'm going to select my character, Face Mesh. Here it is. Here we have Use Audio Clock Source. Yeah, just hit Yes. So here I have my MetaHuman character. And the process is the same. So just go here on the left side and click Process. Wait for it, it's so fast. Now if I go back to the first frame and play it. Don't forget to subscribe. Missing out on our next video would be like forgetting to save your project. A total disaster. <laughs> That's great. Okay, it's working. But if you see here. This whole deck proceed like the next video would be. There is no head movement like audio to face in video. But it's a good start since it's experimental and there will be more features and updates. So here I'm going to export animation, same folder. I'm gonna name it audio to face. You can name it whatever you want, then save it. Okay, create. Here I can open it. As you see, it's working. I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to minimize this. Here, if I want to apply to my MetaHuman character, it's the same also. Just go into Content Browser, go into 
Miles, which is my metahuman. I'm going to drag its blueprint into the scene. Then I'm going back into content browser, going here, I'm going into c cinematics, level sequence. Then I'm going to open it up. Then I'm going to drag my metahuman blueprint here. Going to delete its face control rig. Then here in the plus icon, going to animation and I'm going to select that one. I'm going to zoom here. We can create a camera and everything, but just to show you. Here it's playing, if I hit play. And if you want to add that audio file, it's easy. Just go here, add audio track and same message, use audio clock, yes. Going here to plus, then I'm gonna select my audio file is reminder then if I play don't forget to subscribe missing out on our next video would be like for yeah he's walking you can also just this range don't forget to subscribe yeah it's working very well so that was all for today's video and as I said before this is just an experimental feature, which might change in the future. Of course, for now, NVIDIA Audio to Face is much better, but as we saw before, it requires a decent computer to run it with the Unreal Engine to stream the data and get the head movement. And if you have been following this channel, you know that I have so many videos for NVIDIA Audio to Face. I've even showed how to run audio to face in one computer and Unreal Engine on another one and how to stream the data between them, the animation data. So if you are interested in that process, you can check them out. I will leave the link in the description below. But having these to run completely in Unreal Engine, it's a great thing to have. And I know with more updates, we can get similar results to the audit face so i hope you enjoyed and if you like this kind of content please let me know because i don't like to talk about the new features and updates i prefer to make tutorials like this and show it to you with examples like this and i'm thinking about doing more videos like this for the other features that introduced with this preview so please let me know in the comments what would you like to see in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.